Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to align text to a path in After Effects. Alright, let's get started. I'll begin by making a new composition. I'll make it 1920 by 1080 2997 and I'll call it Roller Coaster Text. Then I'll hit OK. Next, I'll make a new solid by going to Layer, New, Solid, and I'll call this Background and I won't worry about the color for now. Then I'll go up to Effect, Generate, Gradient Ramp. In my Gradient Ramp settings, I'll set my start of ramp to 960 by 540. And then I'll set the end ramp to 960 by 1700. I'll change the start color to a pale yellow. And then I'll set my end color to the same but just a little bit darker. Then I'll change my ramp shape from linear ramp to radial. And that'll give me a nice vignetted look for my background. The last thing I'll do is I'll change the ramp scatter to 100 just to get rid of any sort of banding that might be showing up. With that, my background layer is complete. So I'll grab my type tool and click anywhere in the composition window and type in my type, which is going to be roller coaster. Then I'll grab my pen tool and I'll start drawing out the path that I want this to follow. So I'm going to go for a roller coaster type shape. So I'm going to draw a little like loop in it and then maybe a little hill over here. And then I'll come back in here and refine the shape a little bit. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'll just twirl down my text layer and twirl down the text menu and go to path options and under path, I'm gonna choose my mask that I just drew. As soon as I do that, you can see my text is now on my path and I have a handful of new options down here. So if I just wanted to animate this text along the path, all I would need to do is set a keyframe for first margin and maybe change that value to some negative and then go forward in time and change that value positive till it goes all the way off screen. Ram preview and there you have it. Pretty simple and really easy to do. But we're going to take this a little bit further because the real power in this is that you get the benefits of text animators in addition to animating along the path. So I'll go ahead and undo those keyframes. Now I'll go over to my paragraph panel and I'll switch it to Write Justified. Then I'm going to set a keyframe at frame 0 for last margin, and I'll change that value so it's all the way over to the left. Then I'll move my playhead over to frame 45, and I'll change that last margin value to right in the middle somewhere where I want the type to kind of come to a rest. I'll go 30 frames forward and set another keyframe with the same value. That way the text can be read. Then I'll move my playhead over to 125 and I'll change that last margin value. I'll increase it so that it goes all the way off the screen to the right. Then I'll go ahead and highlight these two middle keyframes and I'll apply an easy ease. For that first keyframe, I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to change its incoming influence to 60 using our script under the influence. And for the second keyframe, I'm going to change its outgoing influence to 100. If you want to know more about Under the Influence, you can check out the link in the description below to see a tutorial we did on it. It's a free script and it's really easy to use and I think it's really useful. Anyways, I think that's looking pretty good, but I would like to add a little bit more to this. What I'd like to do for this text is I'd like to have my text sort of scrunch up when it comes to a rest here in the center, and then I'd like it to expand back out as it goes away. And I can do this easily with a text animator. So I'll go to my Animate menu and add Tracking. Now I just need to set a few keyframes to get the look I'm going for. So I'll set a keyframe at frame 10 for 0 for my tracking amount. And then when I come over here to say frame 37, I want to change that to something negative so that my text comes really close together. Maybe negative 16 looks pretty good. Then I'll come over to frame 75 and I'll set another keyframe for the same value. Then as I come back over here at frame 125 I'll set that to 0 again. 
Now I'll highlight the first and third keyframes for that tracking amount and I'll apply an easy ease. I think that's looking pretty good, but I'm going to add one more thing to it. What I'm going to add is the inertia expression. So I've got it over here in a text document. So I'll just highlight it all, copy it, and then I'm going to come back into After Effects and I'll option click on the stopwatch for tracking amount and I'll paste in that expression. So adding that expression in adds a nice little bounce to the animation and gives it a little bit more life. You can use this technique on any path. It could be a circle, a star, a square, whatever. The possibilities are endless. And when you add text animators into it, it makes it even cooler and there's a whole lot of different things you can do. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.